It's time once again for Adam's Answers. Welcome back. The real difference between an agent is a broker is somewhat minimal. An agent takes their tests after they take the certain amount of hours in the classroom and pass. They then take their continued education yearly that's required from each individual state. A broker can then take more classes and go above and beyond to actually open up their own agency where they can then hire agents to work. A broker can still sell or buy a home as well as an agent but it's somewhat important to see that a broker is more of an umbrella over the agents that are working for you on a daily basis. Seller brokers represent the person selling the home and then buying brokers represent the person buying the home. Now, in some instances, there can be an agent representing the buyer that works for the same broker as the agent listing the seller. This is known as dual agency and is actually very common in quite a few states. It's important to look around at reviews and ask friends and family who have worked with real estate agents before. It's also important to meet with agents at their office before you even start going out to houses with them. Say for example, you start going out to a home before you've met this agent and you realize that it just doesn't work out. A lot of people would feel pressured to continue working with that agent. It's important to almost interview your agents before you've started the home buying or home listing process in order to know that you're working with someone that you get along with and is there to look out for your best interests. It's important for you to realize that you're never bothering your agent. At the end of the day, your agent does not get paid until you get the results you're looking for, whether that be giving handed the keys to the new home at your closing or being given a check for selling your home. A lot of buyers don't understand that agents do not get paid hourly, they get paid by commission. So if you are going to an open house without your agent there to represent you, it's important to let the other agent know that you're working with someone already. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me with Adam's Answers. I'm really looking forward to talking to you guys next week. Have a great one.